Welcome back to the Essence of Beauty. Today is going to be a wig review on Sassy Secret. Now, you guys, I got my unit in, and here it is. This is a standard package. <coughs> Excuse me, you guys. This is really pretty with the two lovely ladies on top and on the back. Instead of maybe printing your brochure of hair instructions, it happens on the back, which is really good because it may stay a little bit better here. You don't have to worry about getting it wet. But then when you put the wig back in here, if your wig is a little oily or something, it may mess up back here. But besides that, this is really good. It's application instructions, washing your wig, can you swim with your wig, storage, baking soda bath for body and shine. This is really good information. And also on their website, they actually have YouTube videos demonstrating on how to wash the wig, how to do the baking soda bath, and so forth. And they also sell their products that they may recommend for their wigs on their, on their site as well. So, besides that, you guys, it came in your standard... Um, post office box. They sent me my little invoice and let me know that I had paid a receipt so much. But that's pretty much it when I opened um, my box. Now, let's take a look at the unit. The unit, her name is Jenna. She is a lace front wig. She is 20 inches, a color 1B. And she is a deep wave, I want to say. Okay. And here's a little hairnet, and on the hairnet, it does have the little picture here, and on the back, excuse me, you guys, it has her name, the color, and the inches here. And these keeping you guys, keeping your hairnets is really, really good. So when you're putting them back in the bag, you can always put it back in your hairnet that came with it. Sometimes, especially when you're storing it, if you just wash it, you want to keep the curls tight. You're letting it hang on your mannequin head. You can always put your wig, um, your wig cap back on it. Now, here she is. And she is very, very pretty. Very, very pretty. I see we have just a light shedding at the bottom here. And she is like a pretty deep wave texture. And I've been keeping her in the bag with the hair net just to keep the waves tight. And this is what she looks like in inside, you guys. Still, again, the standard lace front cap. It's black here. And it looks like to be brown here. And looking at the lace, I only get maybe an inch or so of parting room. So for this one, it's really going to test my skills on putting it on because I won't be able to have like this week since it's a long part here. I have to make do what I got. But that isn't bad. It isn't bad. And it does have curly baby hairs on it, you guys. They're well, a little wavy too. They also look a little curly. Which I love baby hairs because if you make a oopsie, if you're wearing it up, you can use your baby hairs to cover up that spot till you're able to fix it. Or if you're doing an updo, or if you're wearing it glueless, if you're putting those little baby hairs down, it still makes it your look look more natural. And for some of for some people, I know they don't like the baby hair, so you can just comb it back into the hair, spray a little water on it, and gently start combing and mixing it back in. And once you get the hair trained, it should be able to stay in for you. But somebody like me, I like the baby hairs. I really enjoy them because, like I said, it does help with your little oopsies. Or if you want to wear it up, you can gently comb those down and be able to wear it that way. So, you guys, here's what she looks like. And she's really, really pretty. She does have, you guys, that wee smell, which I'm not a big fan of that. So, I wanted to come in here and let you guys see what she looks like before I wash her because it looks like I'm going to have to wash her because she does have that wiggy smell and I don't like that wiggy smell. It needs to have a natural hair smell. So what you guys, what I'm going to wash the wig with is I'm going to wash it with my silicone mix shampoo and my silicone mix conditioner and this too is really, 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 really good. 
and other products that I use that I for this video I'm still gonna use my silicone mix but there are some other products that you can use that I really enjoy using and they're called SES products Sheer Essence um, Salon products and I'm gonna get those for you guys alright you guys um, these are one of my favorite products and SES products by Rhonda and she is the owner of Sheer Essence Salon in Jacksonville Florida these are some wonderful wonderful products and they have a nice soy smell to them and they're made intended for your virgin Indian hair and your Remy Indian hair and Malaysian hair as well but I have noticed that I have been using these products so much that they work on other types of hair now I have my Kiwi cleansing shampoo which is really really good to start off with the breakdown um the mildew, well not mildew rather, but soap or if you're having product builder, this is the first thing to do to put in first. And then I have my Shoy shampoo and my Shoy conditioner. And these are really, 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 really good. And I said I was going to use silicone, but I might change my mind and just use my SES products. I haven't used those in a while. But the silicone mix works really, really good. And so do these SES products by Sure Essence. And my girl Rhonda. I love her. But um, those are one of my two main problems when it comes to shampoo and conditioning, what I use. So I'm going to just go ahead and I'm going to wash her. And when I come back to you guys, you'll be able to see her adhere. I'm also going to show you guys the hairline as well because it's kind of hard to see it looking at it right now with all these baby hairs. And because since they have so many, I'm going to have to clip them back. As you can see, I'm going to have to clip them back and then put my wig on and gently start working them back down. So I'll let you guys see the hairline and see what it looks like after it's been washed. But I did want you guys to see how it looks before it's been washed. And it's really, really pretty. It's really, really pretty like this. So I hope after I wash it, it's going to stay like that. Because it is very, very pretty. Very pretty. So you guys, I'll see you guys after the application. Alright you guys, I just wanted to come back in here so you guys could see how the hairline looks before I get to styling my unit. I recently just applied it so I was kind of waiting just a few minutes to give it a chance to set and I had wrapped my hairline with my purple scarf just going around this way. But I wanted you guys to see the hairline before I get to styling it. Okay. Well now as you guys can see just kind of right along here. Here's the hairline. And the application did really, 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 really good. And this little piece right here, you guys, is the baby hairs that I was telling y'all about that I decided to comb back in until I could finish applying it so then it didn't get stuck. But it went really, 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 really good. It does have some dips and curves um, in it as well. You guys, I have a four finger forehead. So usually what I'll do is when I Put my fingers here. I try to do at least a three finger forehead because I have a four, but I just move take away one finger and do three so it just it'll be evenly on my forehead. It also look realistic. So if you have a five finger forehead, you probably like five fingers here, you probably can go away from how to do a four or a three finger forehead. But for me, since I have a four finger forehead, I usually do a three so I can fit three fingers in between here. So this is what it um it looks like and it turned out really really good so I'm going to style her you guys and I'll be right back alright you guys I'm back I wanted to show you guys since I'm styling her now I did want you guys to be able to see how I styled it so what I did was just spray some water into her and as you can see she's curling right all back up because she is a um a deep wave unit, a deep wave unit. So then for my wavy unit, I use John Frieda. And you can get this from Walmart, probably Walgreens, CVS, but I use a John Frieda collection for my wavy units. And what I'm doing is just spraying in a daily nourishment into the hair. And as you can see, you guys. It's waving back on up. 
Now the next thing I will do is spray in my dream curls here, which is another one. And that will kind of help hold it throughout the day. You can also spray in um, Design Essentials. Your HCO, which is the leave-in conditioner, just as this, but it also holds the curls. And it continues to give it a kind of wet and baby look if you want to rock it um, that way. I did wash the unit, you guys, and I did use my silicone mix to wash it. But to um, use it at first, what I did was my shampoo, silicone mix shampoo, and silicone mix conditioner. And I did have some shedding you guys if y'all can see that it's just a little light shedding and I stated that at the beginning of the video when I was looking we were looking at the unit at first when it came out the bag there is some light shedding um, to it but nothing to make me say I don't want to wear it so next just to put uh, a little light oil on it I'm going to use my Beyond the Zone noodle head here but you can get that from Sally's and I'm just going to go through and you see it has a little shine to it nothing real heavy and that's it you guys I'm just going to kind of comb through it finger comb it and I think what I'm going to do is kind of lay it to the side kind of like this and kind of rock it so I'll probably put a flower in or something and kind of rock it like that okay let's see And then what I'll do for this side, we'll just lay it flat. And to catch your um, flyaways or to roll with your baby hair, what you could do is put a little pomade on your baby hairs if you want to slick them down. And Cantu has um, a pomade as well that's really good. If you, you can get that probably at Walmart for your um, pomade. Okay. And I didn't really draw a part, you guys just kind of went around and kind of combed it down. So for the back, what I usually do is take my clip and I'll clip it kind of right here. So you guys can, um, can see that. I'll clip it right here. And then when I come back around, this is what it looks like on the side. On my, one, my left side. And on the right side, it looks like this. And it's just laying flat. And that's how I'll probably rock it and wear it. But thank you guys again for tuning in. This is a beautiful unit by Sassy Secret, and you guys can find it, um, Jenna, in the clearance section. I believe last time I checked, she was still in the clearance section. So you guys check it out, and thank you again for tuning in, and I'll see y'all in the next time. Now I can't hide